hi dear students today i am going to talk on occupational therapy which is very very important for children with intellectual disability and other disabilities like autism spectrum disorder or learning disability or you can say emotional disorder or even when the child is, is small you know to maintain the level of functioning almost in all the domains of life like you know personal domain social domains academic recreation so today I'm going to focus a basic basics of occupational therapy which we will try to understand what is definition, objective, scope and modalities and intervention of occupational therapy. So let us understand the definition of occupational therapy. So what is the occupational therapy focuses on the promotion restoration and maintenance this three thing is very very important p r m p means promotion r means restoration m means maintenance so the occupational therapy will promote the child level of functioning and also restore which is lost and try to maintain which is gained so that three things occupational therapy will try to you know maintain it so that is very very important in disabilities or any other ability students okay now so let us understand what is the definition occupational therapy you can say is it is the exp, uh, sorry application of a goal oriented and purposeful activity it is a purposeful act in the assessment and treatment that means occupational therapy don't have a responsibility of giving the intervention rather assessing okay both in developmental disability and in psychological kind of thing developmental disability like intellectual disability autism spectrum disorder or any other disorders okay so that is the definition of occupational therapy now let us see the objectives of occupational therapy the objective is to promote maintain restore functional independency in day-to-day -day activity or daily living skills or you can say ADL skills so that the child can maintain to increase the person's ability to participate in everyday activity of occupation okay so it's very simple facilitate learning of uh, different skills and functions which is essential for adaptation to the environment occupational therapy role is to also adapt the environment so that they can survive the environment which is given to them and promote and maintain the health issues if they have okay now let us see the scope of occupational therapy in this as i said they have a wide scope they can help in the different area of domains like daily living skills for people with physical mental developmental delay or condition so they have a wide scope where they can work okay so helping the children with disability to participate fully in a school and a social situation that is also you know they have a scope where they can make their skills uh, you know to improve the developmental delay it has a scope in hospitals as well and the other governmental and non-government agencies children cleaning nursing home you can see a lot of clinics of occupational therapy especially here in the you know south Hyderabad you have a lot of occupational therapy clinics where child is getting the benefits OT has scope in rehabilitation orthopedic neuro rehabilitation disability management research mental health so they have a great scope in this area too the modalities and interventions one by one first one is your activity of daily living see this area represents a central focus of occupational therapy for this population the population means developmental delay population okay for example the respect to activities related to eating skills the intervention can range from adapting the feeding environment choosing the preferred food then bringing the food to one's mouth to teach more advanced skills such as organizing shopping and meal preparation so eating is not just taking the food and putting to your mouth okay 
it has a variety range uh, of uh, interventions okay as as it is clearly mentioned in the example you know adapting the feeding environment that means whether the child has a difficulty you know to sit in the environment that the child has a difficulty or choosing a food that is a difficulty or putting a you know a food to a, a mouth that is a difficulty so that things as i have already discussed occupational therapy have a role in assessing an intervention so before giving intervention they identify exactly and then try to modulate environment is surrounding the child so they will try to modify the environment okay so it varies okay so that is the ideal uh, intervention where the occupational therapy focus more in modulating improving the sensory skills then you have your learning or studies okay this is also one modalities where you know occupational therapy show their uh, you know interest so in this intervention they cover a variety of educational settings such as a daycare center for young children kindergarten special school education at the age till 21 years even the regular school settings professional training facilities so the intervention varied and may focus uh, of gaining a basic learning skill so they will try to focus so that at least child can gain a basic foundations or even a basic learning skill such as you know uh, writing or learning or organizing the times or any other things pre-reading so at least a basic components he is able to understand that's why occupational therapy also will try to focus on you know learning and the studies how to what is the learning styles you know, these all kind of things they will identify so let us see the next modalities next modality is your work yes intervention in this area covers a variety of work setting including the special education setting in which the student receive a training to enter to the workforce basically when the child is at 18 years or the when the child is at pre vocational level okay they will try to uh, train the child so that they can you know adapt the environment easily when they go to the work or when they try to go to the work so they will try to build the basic work skill training like you know behavior norm work attitude routine of the work so they will try to develop those basic cognitive abilities so that they can uh, you know understand and become independent when they go for the work and your next modality is play that's very common and important so play intervention as the occupational therapy goal for the developmental delay is directly related is directly related because they provide a basic experience of play okay so that they can provide a better opportunity to participate uh, in the play activities when they go out in the school in the playground in the society wherever the child goes so that's a uh, uh, intervention area where they try to focus so these are the modalities of occupational therapy where they focus similarly you would have seen some other area physiotherapy or, or you can say speech therapy but their way of you know intervening is different so here we're not going to discuss in detail just they have asked the intervention in which area or modalities you need to remember okay then you have your um, leisure so research reveals that people within the uh, within this population have a you know a large amount of time to devote to the leisure whereas uh, their participation in leisure activity is minimal which is given by Witter and Trinet 2005. They have done the research and they have found that people uh, of this population have a large, they have to uh, uh, denote, uh, you know, their large time in leisure, but they don't do that, where they don't, or they don't, they don't uh, you know, participate more, I mean to say. So intervention in this area may focus on exposure to the varied leisure opportunities identification uh, choice of area of interest planning leisure time 
and participation in activity that lead to the perception of capabilities, pleasure, control, satisfaction. So these are all things they try to, you know, counsel them, modulate them and train. Okay. So next one is your social participation. The intervention within occupational therapy encourages the person to gain the skill in the various area of occupation. Okay. And support and, and strengthen their social participation, social integration, you know, interpersonal relationship. So that is very, very important role of occupational therapy. So for this population, an emphasis is placed upon understanding acceptable social structure, acceptable social norms, as well as the learning and participating activity that leads a satisfactory social interaction. Okay, as I said, social interaction uh, is very very important and it cannot be happen in isolation we need to coordinate with the you know uh, between two or uh, three person then only we can achieve the social participation and the next one is your accessibility and environmental modification so occupational therapy has an important role in modifying the environment related to the children with intellectual disabilities so they will identify the different area of occupation environment where the child is you know stationed and they will try to modify the task in a simpler way and then they will try to change it so their main focus is to change the environment okay or modify for example if the child has a difficulty in you know adjust to that environment so they will try to modify those uh, environment like playground or you know adding the symbol sign uh, for the um, uh, what do you say passageway or in the equipment they will try to modify so this kind of things uh, occupational therapy will try to suggest to the uh, you know, parents of intellectual disability and assistive technology as you know this is very very important this is very uh, um, commonly seen nowadays where they try to modify in the hardware software or they have a different you know uh, way of uh, uh, what do you say modification in the keyboard or you know touch screen or motorized wheel you have nowadays sort of computing programs internet different output uh, of voice so they will use all these things so that you know the children when they grow up they will try to uh, you know adapt themselves with the uh, relating to the different area or interest or specific uh, um, or, or specific area so this is quite simple modalities where you can you know just think over just listen just read and if you have any doubt just let me know so that we can clarify it but it's quite simple and easy to understand so as as I said we are not going to discuss in detail that we are going to have an overview of occupational therapy because as per your syllabus they haven't mentioned you know in detail discuss about uh, intervention or occupational therapy thank you